Run, Bulbul, run. Ramzan Guru watched his horse not defiantly. Then his horse reared so quickly that Ramzan's father lost his balance and was thrown to the ground. That horse has to go. Yes, yes. What good is it to us if it throws its own master? He never throws me, said Ramzan guiltily. He never throws you, thundered his father. But he has thrown me thrice. And soon he'll start throwing the tourists. And what will that do to our business, may I ask? No, Ramzan. The moment I get a buyer, I am going to sell Bulbul. Now take him to the international camp and see that you get a few good trips. We need some money. Listen, Raja Bulbul, I know you hear me. You are my horse. Nobody loves you more than I do. But if you want to stay with me, you have to behave yourself. You mustn't throw anybody, especially not father. Will you promise me that? Come on now, let's go and earn some money. I'd better hurry. I don't want to reach home drenched to the skin. Ramzan looked up and watched large black clouds crawl over the sky. He could smell a storm brewing. If I take the shortcut, I might just make it home in time. Ramzan thought. He said, Come on, Bulbul, let's go. He guided the horse into the woods onto a small bridle path. The horse galloped on. The wind swished through the underwood. The horse whinnied and flicked his ear. He reared up and neighed frantically. Down, down, ordered Ramzan, pressing his feet gently into the horse's flank. Down, that's a good horse. The horse stood immobilized, all his senses attuned to danger. Then Ramzan heard a deafening moan. When Ramzan woke up, he called out, Bulbul, help! The horse appeared from out of nowhere. He lowered his head and nuzzled the injured horn. Bulbul! Ramzan wept in relief. You have to go home. Home, Raja, he stressed. You have to call father. Bring him here. Get him, please. Run, Bulbul, run. Then another spasm of pain shook Ramzan. Bulbul turned and ran. The horse galloped through the night. When he reached the front of the house, he reared up and whinnied loudly. It is Bulbul, shouted Ramzan's father. Ramzan's mother cried. Ramzan? Where is Ramzan? Oh Allah, what has happened? That devil of a horse must have thrown him. I knew he was good for nothing. He threw me just this morning. He must have thrown Ramzan too. I'll kill that horse. I'll kill him. No, please. Stop, stop. Bulbul would never throw Ramzan. Maybe there was an accident. Perhaps Ramzan was unable to ride home. And Bulbul has come to fetch us. Please, don't hit the horse. He wants you to follow him. I know he'll take you to Ramzan. Be gentle. Talk to him softly. He's a good horse. But you must know how to handle him. Raja Bulbul, he said, You love your master. Yes, you are Ramzan's horse. I know, I know. Now, your master is in danger. Only you and I can help him. We must reach him fast. As fast as you can take me. Let me mount you. Now come on, Bulbul. It's for your master's sake. Ramzan, it's your Abu. Ramzan! I think I can see him, cried Ramzan's father. Yes, there he is, lying near a broken tree. Ramzan, oh Ramzan! Ramzan lay very still. His face was blue from the cold and pinched with pain. Slowly, he opened his eyes and looked straight into his father's anguished face. His lips moved, but no sound came out. Then he saw Bulbul and his face lit up. I knew he would make it, he said brokenly. I knew he would. Come here, Bulbul.
the rainbow. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began. So is it now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old. Or let me die. The child is father of the man. I could wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety.